Hotel, which is a family-run manor house and equestrian centre. So we've come for a ride and to meet some of the people and also to have some scones and tea. And our grandmother bought it in 1937. She came down to buy some beds, went home and told her husband she bought the hotel. I've been coming to Bel Air for 25 years. It's the most amazing place. It's like home from home. And um, all my friends are here. We have about 50 horses here at the moment, between school horses, some breeding, and some livery horses belonging to other people. I've been coming to Bel Air for probably about six months. Um, I did a horse riding holiday with Zara's plant to um, Argentina. I did the Torres del Pine and then I was doing Botswana so I came here to get riding fit. It's like riding out without being a riding school. You've the countryside and we go up into the forest and do jumps and it's great. It's not like any other riding school and the horses are fantastic. Great facilities here, uh, lovely parkland to ride, good horses, beautiful countryside. Um, we specialise in cross country confidence building packages. We do nice ride outs out through the forest. We also do show jumping and flat work and just a nice holiday experience. We do mock huts, which starts now next month, and they're amazing. And we go for four hours. And it's very important to bring your hip flask because halfway through we have a tea, well, a tea break, which is great. But uh, no tea is consumed, it's all alcohol, I'm afraid. I mean, it's a great escape. I mean, there's just so much land. And I mean, if you're in a place where there's just an arena and not much to do, and you come here and you just have miles and miles of just hacks and gallops, and it's just great. Everyone's just very friendly and it's great to go in and have something to eat after or a pint. So now I'm 80 years of age and I've had two new hips and I'm back riding again. Yeah, I feel I'm not alive if I'm not riding. So, but Noni and Maggie are wonderful because they always give you uh, a horse that suits you so you can be sure you're safe. It's not just a riding school. You know, when we finish, we don't just go home. We go into the bar, we have a chat, we talk horses and we drink tea or something stronger. We've had an absolutely fabulous time here at Bel Air and we've just found out that they actually do weddings here. So I'm gonna run upstairs chuck on my wedding dress and we're going to do a vow renewal right now. The rides here really aren't for the faint hearted. They're pretty exciting and fast and the guys come in at the end of their rides very tired. So the bar's really busy and there's a real sense of community. Everyone seems to know each other and everyone has a lot of fun at Bel Air. Thank you.